okay yeah, with I, uh, the outcome. I think I honestly would have preferred the Talia in this situation. Just Talia into Yone into Lucian is so good at just checking them. Um, yeah, with true. The Unraveled Ear. So there is a lot of playmaking power with this combo. This combo is obviously very strong, but I also think you're going to have. You know, it's not the best into Maokai as well. Yeah, and a lot of peel going to be required as well and need to get those wild growths out from Kellen at the same time. So it's time to get onto the Rift for our Saturday Showdown. But you've always got to consider the possibility. Yep, remember, like, I mean, KT chose T1, remember? Uh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Crazy uh, things could happen. Uh, you know, you just know Chronicle is going to be hearing yep. that and so mad about it yep. right now. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, just because the, the power that Maokai CC is so powerful, and even against things like Delight's Bubble, it has a lot of value too. Yep, I would suggest that Kellen is going to buy the earliest possible Mikhail's, as now Delight is going to do a lot of damage to nope. Kellen. I'm just going to say, it's very fortunate that Viper is the one with Ignite. Uh, well, Zekka going to unbind his soul once again. Gets a Tide Caller's Blessing as well for the extra damage as another charm does come through. This time, the angle of the Orb of Deception does certainly work out in Showmaker's favor as Lucid going to be pushed out of the pit. Uh, well, not happy with the outcome, but he's happy with getting this one void uh, grub and moving away. Ooh, Bubble is going to miss there as now Viper is going to get snared by the Gravitum. A lot of damage onto Kellen here, but he's still moving forward. Viper the target here for DK. Slightly dangerous with the fact that Peanut's proximity is so incredibly close. So Showmaker is definitely showing that uh, if you do unbind the soul, uh, you can definitely just uh, always land those charms. Lucid's coming on in here. Doran does have that Mega Nar coming up, but it's a really good avoidance of that wallop. And okay, Nature's Grasp comes down. Cease and assist just to go through the CC. And there's first blood. Still, Zekka is going to rotate in. And I don't think this fight is over just yet. Still, he gets underneath the turret with Showmaker moving in. Looks like D Plus are going to get away with it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Doran didn't have ult available and also just took so much damage on that play uh, up against the the Udi. It got absolutely mangled in close range for quite some time. Yeah, I mean, he did kind of fall off and we didn't see him. Oh, oh yeah, there's a dash in from Viper. Gets slowed down here by the Glitter Lance as Tidal Wave coming on in as well. They get the knock up. There's the bubble onto the Lulu, who's going to flash. Does still have wild growth, but opted to flash instead. And they are just going to back all the way out of this one. Lucid getting started on these Void Bubs, and that means that this bottom lane should just lose a bunch of plates. And in fact, these backs are going to get stopped as Peanut could have just thrown a sapling in there. So, yeah, and I uh, in this trade. Uh, we see Zekka moving over already. He needs to be here yesterday if he wants to prevent this play. Well, uh, Narbar is not in a great position and the CC is just chained to high heaven. Zekka moving on in now as Showmaker wants to land this charm, but Zekka is going to ult his way out. They do take some plate gold on the way through here as D+. If you walk up, uh, liable just to get a heavy trade pumped into you. And especially with the fact that we're seeing Lucians go this shiv, it becomes really difficult. So D plus don't even opt to contest the dragon. They go towards a Herald instead. And you can see aiming in Kellen's position. Like Viper's permanently up in the lane. Not able to do anything. And so now the next fight is going to be dictated by Harmon Life Esports. As now Peanut, he'll press the Nature's Grass button and now look for an opportunity to go in. Kellen is going to the Kales himself. That is actually the right call here as Lucid happily able to tank things up. Now Showmaker moving in on the flank angle. Cease and assist comes down. They found their target as Zekka is in trouble, but he's ulting. He is going to get himself out. And D Plus now have to work out who else they can kill. Peanut might be the target they opt in for, but he's just going to Bramble Smash Flash, and they're able to take down Kingen. Humble Life East was playing this out so incredibly well. Orbit Deception flies down. Moonlight Vigil is decent. But it is not quite good enough as Showmaker looks for the backline. He finds Viper, who then dashes forward. It's aiming, it's able to cut him down, but he dies himself. It's a double, though, in the end, as now Lucid going down low. And Doran getting some revenge here onto DK. The Nah does come through, and it's a triple. If there's there's like an agreement from both teams, we're going to be 5v5ing as, OK, Tidal Wave going to be avoided. And now the turret just goes down. Delight just booped over the wall. Is now Viper by himself. He's going to get taken down oh! so incredibly low, but that's Still a massive ulti from Zekka. The answer is still there for D+, though, as Lucid just punches the Lucian. They're making collecting some cinders as the Drake is going to get picked up here. And if Harmon Life Esports don't like this, they can just back away, but it looks like they're not going to do so. As Shomek get taken down, that is going to be a huge cease and assist onto Viper, but the ulti into the back line is just as good. Both of the carries just immediately wiped out. 
Delight in trouble, but Kingen has no damage. He's not going to be able to get this one done. It's Doran able to lock down the last remaining kill here in the river. They'll grab themselves an Infernal Soul, and Zekka, congrats on the POG, man. Broke a shield, at least, uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, Lucid. He might start. Yeah, he may. Cease and Assist going to come through here as there is the knockup onto Showmaker. Wow. He misses the charm and just gets chopped up by Zekka. Not sure about this one, and it feels a little bit like D Plus have ran out of steam in this I moment. I don't know really what was uh, going it's on there. Zoning ult, zoning ult. Yeah, definitely zoned. Did a bunch of zoning. As now, the ultimate going to come through here from Peanut as well. There's the Flash Twisted Advance. Really wants to take down Aiming. Not going to be able to do so just yet. Lucid, very tanky, is able to take out Viper. And now Zekka, he's at full health, so he's an absolute monster. It doesn't matter that they've lost the Lucian, because they still have this Yone, who is just so incredibly huge. Three dead on the side of D+, and so these inhibitors are sure to follow. And maybe, with this Baron buff, they're going to be able to push through for even more. Aiming is still up, but I just don't know whether he's going to be able to do too much here. Showmaker showing back up again, though. That should be enough. As look at all these cannon minis. There are five! Yeah, lining up to take down these turrets. And to be able to take the first one is uh, Peanut. It's going to be difficult for him to be able to get out. His tidal wave just sails by majestically. It's a great charm to connect there as Kingen, not quite as tanky as he otherwise could. Oh, wait, maybe he is. Never mind, he is. That's, that's a bit ridiculous that he has been targeted so much. As Showmaker wow. not able to find him. The sidestep just gorgeous as the tidal wave almost takes down Showmaker here. He makes it to the fountain. It's good bubble on to Kingen to stop that follow up. Aiming is still at full health, though, has decent guns for this one as well as into the back line goes Zekka. Doesn't find the Aphelios, but still able to cut down this Udia Peanut. Not a lot left in the tank though as far as that health bar. So D plus I think might be able to keep this Nexus turret alive. Just cascading up these lanes as King and he's not going to be able to hold onto it by himself. Still he's teleporting in. They're going for the flip as now Lucid wants to get over the wall. He is going to be able to do so. But there's another two-man ulti from Zekka who finds yet another angle. Aiming now having to deal with Doran will get stunned up, not into the wall. Thrown around like ragdolls and D plus they went for the last ditch effort. But it is only Lucid left standing and Viper gets his final revenge. That is going to be the Nexus turret falling down as well as Doran wants to get out of this game as quickly as possible. Look at these supers. And that is going to be that. They even take the Elder just to celebrate. I just find it so mind-blowing that, like, I can get, like, I thought we'd see aiming struggle quite a bit on yep. the Aphelios, but he actually wasn't caught by, I mean, there was times when he was caught by Zekka. Helen's mostly... McHale's usage was actually phenomenal yeah. the whole game.